It is beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Dominium Brewing Company and it's a bottle of their Hot Mountain Pale Ale coming in at 5.6% ABV. Looking forward to this one. Not tried anything from the Dominion Brewing Company, so we'll crack it open. First of all, I want to show you the bottle cap. It's a nice deer there, a big stag on the, on the bottle. A bit of smoke there. 330 bottle. Let's get this beer poured out. See what we get. It's a little bit at the bottom there. If it's bottle condition, I'm not sure if it is or not, but yeah, actually it looks nice and bitty. So one finger head, off white, slightly cloudy coloured beer, little bits and pieces floating around in the bottle. In the glass even I should say. Colour deep kind of reddy amber colour to this one. Let's get a nose. Oh yes and that is more like it. There's nothing like digging your nose into an American pale ale or an IPA. That smells wonderfully floral, wonderfully spicy and of course wonderfully hoppy with citrus notes galore in this one. Also picking up a tropical fruit nose. But I've just got to get into this beer, this smells absolutely wonderful. Cheers everyone. Oh, oh. Okay, so it's nice and malty. The water quality in this is fantastic. Really enjoying the, the, the mouthfeel, the, the, the refreshingness of the beer. In terms of flavour, it's, um, it's, it's a nettly kind of very piney hint of grapefruit. It's more big pine, big pine needles, like you walk into a, a forest floor and you kind of pick up a handful of pine needles and rub them together and give them a smell, like you do, like you would do with hops. It gives you that, that big pine needle kind of, well, I suppose you wouldn't eat it, but that kind of nose. Um, also, there's something in there as well. It's, it's a dryness, it's a dryness. And it's a lingering spice on this one. Not, not kind of curry spice with the, the... See, see, a lot of the ingredients you drink in curry, sometimes you see it in the beer, like chilies and, and curry powder and, and everything else that you, you sometimes see in these beers, but more of a kind of a gentle spice. But it's longing, it, it lasts for a long time in the taste. Very fruity, very tropical. It's also very, there's a, there's a berryness to the beer. And that comes from the malt that they use. So it's a very nice balance to the beer. The beer is giving you a hoppy, then a malty kind of battle in your mouth. It's going from, from stage to stage, back and forth. And it's really, really good. Um, it is the end of, it's the 27th of January, I'm recording this video, and the freshness date on this bottle, because you guys in America, I know you're very passionate about fresh beers, uh, and all over the world if you're watching. Um, this, this is the 4th of the 6th, 2013. I've read it like that, I, I think it's right. The Americans put the day in the middle, I believe. There you go. Let's 
chuck some of this sediment in, shall we? Okay. Now, what I'm able to do now is wash the beer around in the glass, release all of these big aromas because I've taken a couple of big tastes, a big rigorous whirl round. Wow, it is quite punchy for a pale ale. But bear in mind, if this was 0.4 of a percent more, uh, if this was, this was coming in at 6%, not 5.6, you'd be calling this an IPA. So it's not that kind of much between calling it an IPA and a pale ale, but it's very, very good. Hmm, that is a very, very good beer. Again, I want to reiterate, a big part of this beer for me is the water quality. At 5.6% ABV, probably 97, 98% of this beer is going to be water. And it's sometimes an ingredient in the beer world that doesn't get discussed a lot. But I really do try and get a, a, whether, in my mind, whether it's a hard water or a soft water. Because it makes so much of a difference when you taste the beer. It will do, it's 97% of the beer. It's very refreshing. Um, okay. Uh, brewed and bottled by Old Dominion Brewing Company, Dover, DE. Is that Delaware? Could be Delaware. Um, no, no website, which I'd love to kind of give you. If you Google Old Dominion Brewing Company, I'm sure you'll find these guys. But okay. Final thoughts and a rating from me. Lovely and fresh, lovely and hoppy, great water quality. It's multi, really nice multi backbone there in the beer. I I I really like this. I really like it. I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten beer from the Real Ale Guide. Thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. I always answer. I love answering your comments. Please subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.